So today we're talking pre-shot routine. Uh, this is a this is a, a situation that I'm in right now. Actually, um, I've played the first four holes at Lost Canyons um, in Simi Valley in uh, near Los Angeles, California, and I'm standing on number five tee, and I am two under par. So uh, a couple of factors are going to weigh in. Number one, um, you know, the fact that I'm two under through four sometimes can get to you. you say man wow I'm playing really good today am I gonna screw this up or am I gonna you know go low or maybe I have the best run of my life today whatever it might be so that's one thing that those factors that you start putting inside um, person like you're doing this on your own yourself talking yourself uh, out of your routine and then the other thing uh, that can happen is it's hot um, it's 103 degrees today I'm wearing pants because I always wear pants but it's hot um, it's a little windy, you know. There, there are these other other factors that have to be accounted for before I hit this shot, so that I'm in a clear state of mind to perform at my highest level or to my best ability. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that I take in the pre-shot routine that I think are absolutely the most important. Uh, the first thing that I'll do in the pre-shot routine, and this actually happens before I get to the ball, is I'll assess the the hole. I'll assess the course. Am I going to be hitting a uh, driver? I'm going to be hitting a three wood. What's what's the trouble out there? Do I see this, that, whatever? Uh, that's more course management. We'll get into that in another chapter. But um, that's the first thing I do. I assess the situation. I already know this hole. I've played it a hundred times, so I know that it's a driver. So I've I've already chosen my driver. What I have to do now that I've already got the club and I've already got my target. It's kind of the same target I take almost every day, depending on the wind. I have to give myself the best possible chance of hitting a good shot or making a good swing. So what I do in my pre-shot routine is I've got my club, I've got my glove, um, I'm, I'm, I've already got my target actually too. So what I'm going to do is while I'm back behind the ball, I'm going to find an intermediate target, something that I can line my club face up to that's square to my target or that's on the target line. So I see that the flag, that's basically my target is where the flag is, is on this line, and I see a little piece of grass there that I can line my club face up to. So that's the first thing I've done. I've, I've got the shot. I've got the line. I, I can see exactly what I'm going to do with this swing. I'm going right at the flag, and since I use a square to square swing, I just have to aim where I want to go and swing there, and I'll be good. So I've got my intermediate target. I've got my big target. Now from back here, I want to alleviate a little bit of fear or I want to create a little bit of trust. And so to create the trust, for me it's really simple. I just make a couple rehearsal swings where I kind of preset my hands forward, make sure the face is square, and turn my shoulders back and turn them through. Just feeling a full shoulder turn back and a full turn through. Once I've made one or two or three of those, however many it takes for me to get the feel for it, I come back, make sure I've got my intermediate target. I'm going to line my club face up now square to that intermediate target. Got my hands preset just slightly ahead for the driver. And now I'm just going to make a turn back and a turn through. Pretty good. Just up the left side. Didn't quite catch it flush. Um, but that's pretty good. It put me in position. I can maybe go make another birdie.